Today we're working on converting in the metric system and the metric system is based a decimal based system and so honestly converting in the metric system is a bit easier than converting in customary because to convert in metric units you multiply or divide by powers of 10 so you're always either multiplying or dividing by 10, 100, 1000 and so on. So one of the largest records Pyth recorded pythons measured 7.3 meters or 7 and 3 tenths meters long. What is the length of the python in centimeters? So we're converting 7.3 meters into centimeters and 1 meter equals 100 centimeters. So we're taking 7.3 and since we're going to a smaller unit our number is getting bigger and we're multiplying by 100. So when we multiply it by 100 I could do 3 times 0, 3 times 0, 3 times 1 and so forth, and then set, put our placeholder zero, seven times zero, seven times zero, seven times one, and then put our decimal place. But you can also remember that little rule where the number of zeros is the number of times you move over the decimal place. And for um, multiplying, you're moving it to the right to make it bigger, and when you divide, you move it to the left. So I have two zeros here, and I'm gonna move it two times to the left. I have this weird gap here, a zero fills it in, so my answer is 730. You would get the same thing if you did the traditional multiplying three times zero, three times zero, three times one. Next line, put in your zero, seven times zero, seven times zero, seven times one. But this is a little bit easier. Our answer is 730 centimeters long. So the python is 730 centimeters long. So a centimeter is 10 millimeters. Millimeter is the smallest unit of measure we'll work with in fifth grade. There are smaller ones, nanometers, picometers, whatnot. But millimeters is our smallest, so 10 of those make the centimeter. And you can see that on our ruler, that 10 little lines here make one centimeter. So the little lines are millimeters, very thin, about the thickness of a dime, and the um, large one, two, three are the centimeters. And that is about the width of a pinky finger, is a centimeter. A meter is 100 centimeters, or 1,000 millimeters. And a meter is about the height of a doorknob. So if you measure from the floor to the door handle, that'll be about a meter. And then finally, we, the biggest we'll work with in fifth grade is a kilometer. And a kilometer is 1,000 meters, and that's about six blocks or so. It's less than a mile, but it's in that same sort of range. All right, Roshanda has 50 dominoes. Each domino is four centimeters long, so it's just showing three of the 50. She lines them up end to end as shown. How many meters long is the line of dominoes? So I'm gonna have to take that four centimeters and multiply by 50 to get my amount in centimeters. So I look at my base fact, four times five is 20. And then I put on my extra zero, so it's 200 centimeters. So we got to convert our 200 centimeters. Um, since one meter is 100 centimeters. You can check if you're not sure. If you couldn't remember whether it was 100 or 1,000, you can always check. But it's 100 centimeters. So we're going to divide 200 by... 100. So you can use that same trick for dividing 200 by 100, that there's two zeros here. If there's not a decimal place, you just start at the end where the decimal would be. And we're going to move it over two spots and we're dividing. So we go to the left, one, two, so it go right there. And our answer would just be two. 200 divided by 100 is just two. So 200 centimeters is equal to two meters. So the line of 50 dominoes is two meters long. So I'd like you to try out these bottom two problems and then pause the video so that I can um, show you the answers in just a second. All right, ready? Five meters, we're converting to centimeters. Since one meter is 100 centimeters, we're gonna multiply to get to our smaller unit. Five times 100 is 500. So five meters equals 500 centimeters. All right, 9,000 meters, we're converting to kilometers. 
9,000 divided by 1,000, because there's 1,000 meters in a kilometer, and we're going to a bigger unit, so we've got to get smaller. 9,000 divided by 1,000 is 9. So 9,000 meters equals 9 kilometers. I'd like you to try out the front and the back of next page, the next page, and in the description box below, there's a link where you can check some of the answers after you've tried them.